guys. Finally, we're here in Baraka. Welcome to Life with Artie and Miriam. And we are here at Puka Beach for the day, for the morning. Show you the beach. Yes. Yo, sarap dito actually pag umaga kasi maraming shade. Sa hapon medyo mainit na. Pero ang magkagandahan naman sa hapon merong sunset. Di ba? That's right. And Boracay has the best sunsets in the world. Pang romansa. No. Wow. <laughs> Saka pang pamilya. Oh, it's so romantic. That's what people go on their honeymoon here. Yes, that's yeah. true. May marami nagtatanong, hmm. why did we move to Boracay? Mm, that's right. I mean, if you've seen it on the news, ano namin akalain that this would be... Uh, <laughs> picked up by the news. Right. And we'll get interviews about it. Yeah. But yeah, many are really asking, why did we move to Boracay? So today we're going to answer that question in yeah. this episode. Yes. Although sabi ng kapatid ko, ah, dapat, why not? <laughs> why not? Dapat ganun ang sagot. <laughs> Pero... We want to share with you the process because it's a big move. It's not like you can just pack up your Pick bags up, yeah. in a few suit suitcases and come over here. And, okay lang to stay in and, a week. Yeah, work from home for Possibly a week or two for a or a month. month. Pero for a whole and year. And if you're single, madale. Madale. Like rent an apartment or a studio. But to bring seven the whole people. family. Uh, three kids, a toddler. Yeah, it's quite a, a production. A teenager <laughs> and, uh, and a baby. A baby. Yeah, it is a production and in fun. Okay? okay, so we came up with seven reasons, and it's conveniently uh, made up into an acrostic called Boracay. Boracay. So B O R A C A Y, and you want to start? Let's begin with a B. B. Yeah. Why? Of Boracay? course. Of course. Look at this. It is the blessed beaches. How can you beat that? Living life on the beach where you get the best environment i mean this was voted best beach in the world mm -hmm. so many years by the european magazines mm -hmm. uh, tourist associations and why not live on the beach where yeah, you get there's vitamin d from the sun there's exactly. negative ions from mm. the water and the yeah. sand yeah. it's good for mental health yeah it's an environment where you know, COVID cannot thrive mm -hmm. because it's outdoors. So that was a major consideration as well, health reasons. And also, pandemic, once mm. in a lifetime opportunity, di ba? While the kids are not yet mm. going to school face to face. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, Josh was being homeschooled. Mm. The, the toddler and the baby are still too young to go to school. And mm. I'm somehow homeschooling them with the Montessori approach. Mm. So why not? Yes, right. So that's B. Why not live in the best beach in the world? Mm -hmm. And then the next is O. Yeah. Kaduktong nun. And live an outdoor lifestyle. Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Diba? Since we moved here. Actually, the, the first hour we arrived, once uh, we all went to the beach. Yeah, just watch the sunset. Watch the sunset. Mm -hmm. But Elijah just loved running on the beach, getting his feet wet, walking in the sand. Mm -hmm. And then the next morning, the next morning, the next morning. Every naging day. Naging habit na. Yeah. Part of our morning ritual is we wake up, even before breakfast, we bring the baby and the toddler out to the beach. The teenager sleeps in, so hindi siya kasama. So we, we ano, pati yung baby, sobra siyang tuwa. No? Yeah, he loves the sand. Well, noon pa naman, uh -huh. nung nasa ano pa tayo, sa Cavite pa tayo nakatira, meron mm -hmm. na talaga, part of their routine na talaga, outside Outdoor. time in the mornings right. and also in the late afternoon. Yeah. Pero this is a different environment kasi yeah. dati, they were limited to just being in the playground, mm -hmm. around the village, mm -hmm. day in, day out. Pero mm -hmm. ngayon, iba yung environment eh, kasi merong beach, merong sand. Mm -hmm. Dati si Elijah, yung sandbox niya, nasa isang maliit na ano lang, na sensory bin lang pero ngayon the whole island is his sandbox right. and he's really just having the time of his life mm. um, just watching the kids enjoy being in the water the sand playing with their construction toys mm. I mean it's so satisfying to see them experiencing this this environment mm. and I remember um, see Elijah he was running down the beach going to the to the what to the end of the the white beach where the bankas park remember mm -hmm. that yeah 
Tapos parang takbo lang siya ng takbo. Ang saya-saya niya. Tapos nakita niya yung bangka. Umakit siya sa bangka. Um, sumakay, sumakay siya. Hmm. Kinuha niya yung or And he was imagining... You know, being, <laughs> oh, being out in the ocean. picture dito, yan, sa inset. I mean, for them, it's really just an experience exploring. Right. And um, hmm. I mean, uh, children, there's a research hmm. that children who are outdoors more hmm. um, actually develop more confidence. Hmm. They develop resilience because they experience... Hmm. Hmm. Nature falling, you know, falling off a tree or um, <laughs> well, wag naman sana, di ba? Pero yung yung, yung risky risky play, yeah. Um, it uh, not only helps them develop a love for nature, but yeah. also resilience, confidence, knowing that with their own bodies they can explore the environment and so much more. Yeah, and there's so, more to the beach outdoors. There, there are. Um, other islands here to explore the forest, the hiking, trails. hiking trails we can go biking kayaking para sailing diba? especially mm, for the, the teenager yeah and ano uh, mayan falls waterfalls yes and mayan uh, there's a mountain that you can go all the way to the top uh, mm-hmm. bike there so we bought we brought our bikes and we brought uh, some e-bikes as well mm-hmm. yeah. r let's mm-hmm. move to r r helps to refresh the soul yeah. Mm. So, refreshing of the soul is so important. You know, man is a spirit that is encased in a body. You know, the Bible says that we are made of body, soul, and spirit. spirit, and mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we need to take care of our of our souls and, and our spirits. Refresh it. And also our bodies refresh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's healthy to it's be out. It's a reset, out. right? Uh, it's reset. a reset. It's mm. healthy to be out in the sun, mm. outdoors in the in the water, mm. with fresh air. Yeah, yeah. Show them again, no? like that. Yeah. 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 Yes. Shut up, diba? Who wouldn't want to be seeing this view every day? Mm. I mean, you don't even have to go to Pukar, just out in the white sand. Kasi sa Manila, sobrang limited tayo dun sa condo dwelling or the village dwelling. Buti if you live in a in an exclusive village where they have an open playground, the ba? But um, what I like also being out here is the kids are now able to go out and it, it helps build not just relationships in the family but also social skills for mm. the kids. Alam mo, napansin ko dito kay Elijah, mm. ano, mas, uh, mas nangakamusta siya dito eh, di ba? Outgoing na siya. Na siya. One, one time, bumili, may nadaan na kaming mga taho na go for sa amin. O, oh, taho, ganyan. Tapos sabi ni Elijah, Hi, kuya! Diba? Parang... Lahat nga, lahat. Pati sa... Nagiging sociable siya. E-trike driver. More sociable siya here kaysa dun sa village namin mm. in Cavite. Yeah. Nagkakaroon kasi ng ano eh, what you call social anxiety disorder. Mm-mm. It's called SAD. I did some research about uh, how it affects children, the teenagers, and kung nakakulong ka lagi sa kwarto, mm-hmm. uh, imagine for a year, two years, magkakaroon ka talaga ng social anxiety. When you go out, hindi ka nasanay sa tao. Eh. Yeah. And dito, uh, dito, <laughs> maraming tao dito. <laughs> Ayan o. Oh. Diba? So, Tsaka comfortable ang social distancing oh, kasi maraming space. Yeah. So, parang itong malaking bubble. And you don't always have to wear a mask here because yeah. nga, laging outdoors. Mm. Right. Like right now, mm. Mm. and restore relationships here because love is spelled time, you right? know, T-I-M-E. And in this space, we're we're getting to spend more time with the children. Mm-hmm. Even in the evening, hindi lang beach so pagwala ng beach outdoors. So the teenager loves to go out. We've been out uh, getting bubble tea, milk tea, coffee. So kahit provincial siya and beach island lifestyle. Meron pa rin, sort of the comforts of the city. Yung mga cravings safety, mga are available. So meron McDo, meron Jollibee. May milk tea. May milk tea. May coffee. Oh, my stuff. I mean, and the local uh, restaurants, the food's really good. There's mm-hmm. Aria and uh, and a lot of different may, restaurants. May pizza, may pasta, may burger. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kung gusto mo naman sa talipapa, meron Talipa paluto, pa. no, meron... Paluto. 
it's easy to to uh, source for your favorite food or your favorite dish because it's available here and there's a variety. That's right. So, tapos na tayo sa B, O, R, next is A. Active lifestyle. Active lifestyle. So, it overlaps with the outdoors. Uh, when we talk about, siguro, biking, beach volleyball, hiking, hiking, parasailing, balak ko rin mag uh, lakad ng umaga, mag uh, do my 10,000 steps. <laughs> yeah, walking by the beach, doing yeah. your 10,000 steps, it's already, di ba? Mm, Tapos right. ano, nakaka-motivate pa mag-workout kasi nga, <laughs> nasa beach ka, di ba? So, oh. kung magsusuot ka na, kung if you go shirtless or naka-bathing suit, parang mas motivated ka mag-workout and live a healthy lifestyle para, para hindi naman nakakahiyang lumabas na naka-two-piece <laughs> or naka-bathing suit. Mm. Oh, yun. So, next is C. See. Children. Children. Creating happy moments yeah. with them, spending time with them, yeah. creating magical memories, magical yeah. moments in the outdoors and the beach. I mean, the investment in the memories uh, far outweighs the cost. Yeah, the kids are really enjoying. Even, even the toddler, he, lo- he yes, seeing right. everyone walk on the sand. Ziki boy. Si Ziki, gustong gusto niya maglakad uh-huh. sa sand. Nagsis squeal na siya. Palapit palang kami sa, sa beach. Niya. He Sarap. really loves putting his uh, feet in the sand, in the water. Yeah. Wow. The, the kids really love being outdoors. Yeah. So yes. that's one consideration. So children, the children. Actually, yeah, that was when I was doing my quiet time and prayer time walking and just remembering how Elijah, because I just dropped off Elijah at his friend. It's like, Lord, where can we go? That, you know, will, will be a better, healthier environment for the children. And... You know, I just heard the voice, but it was an impression on my heart that said, you don't have to stay in the city. So that meant go out. And the first word that came to mind was beach. So anong beach kaya? So inisi ko, Batangas. Batangas, malapit. Three beach. hours. Pero yung environment, tsaka yung beach, iba pa rin eh. La Union, it's okay. Mainit lang. Tapos daanan din ng bagyo. Batangas, malapit din. Pero there's no community like here in Boracay and the beaches are not as ano um, you know, mag-ahanak ka talaga ng beach na maganda I mean maganda rin yung Batangas pero somehow when I was searching keyword beaches in the Philippines and of course Boracay was top of mind pero sabi ko yung cost baka ma- mahal hmm. and meron Boracay long term rentals Facebook page that uh that featured a lot of hotels that were offering pandemic rates discounted, 50% off. So actually, the cost of moving here is half of our cost in the city. Okay, next is A, activities. Y is for? No, A is for Aklan. Aklan. Yeah, Aklan so Ministry. Aklan, we're open to God's purpose here. Uh, our lives are bigger than ourselves. So we want to be a blessing to wherever we move and maybe God, I'm sure God has a purpose for us to be here. Maybe we'll establish some kind of Aklan based ministry, Bible, study, Bible study, our first trip here in December, we will share the gospel. So planting seeds is always fun. <laughs> okay, after and A is why? 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 Yes. Because the yes, wife said yes. yes. Samia, yes, yes I asked her. this adventure. I asked her, babe, what do you think if we move to Boracay? He said, like, Samia, will it be crazy if we move to Boracay? What do you think? Sabi ko, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my yes kay Lord, Samia, move out of the city. My yes pa kay wife. And happy wife, happy life. Diba? Sabi nga nila. So if Let's the wife go. is happy here, kanina we were in the beach swimming and she said, we're so blessed. Grabe. Asaya. So, yun. Kung yes, the Lord, go, my go, my go na rin si wife, go for it. Take a risk. This is once in a lifetime. Yes. Okay. Yun. So there you have it. Boracay. Seven reasons why be, we're here in be, be Boracay. Be blessed with nature. The o best beaches. is the outdoor. Best beaches. Yeah. R is relationships and restoration, refreshing, refreshing. the soul. Another A is activities. Mm-hmm. C is 
to, for the children, the children choice, yeah. making the choice to be with the children and outdoor lifestyle. A is Aklan Ministry Opportunities, and Y is it's a yes, it's yes a to yes. this adventure. Yeah. Diba? So. Amen. Yes. So there it is, guys. That's our reason for moving to Barahay yeah. and. Um, if you yeah. if you want to see our you know day to day our lifestyle here, it's not always like this that you know we're here in Puka Beach. I mean, pero di kami mga normal activities. Na... Pwede once a week, <laughs> twice a week malapit yeah. lang eh. You so know, it just... only takes like a hundred, two hundred bucks to go here, mm. diba? So, so you can follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is Miriam Q eight eight eight, and Ardis mm. is Ardi Roberto, mm -hmm. um, IG. Yeah. And um, if you like more of our episodes here on the beach, just uh, like, share, and subscribe. Live with Miriam and Artie yeah. okay. on YouTube. That's right. So okay, we'll have more have videos to come. Uh, we'll do a review also of uh, certain hotels, yeah, hotels food, that we stayed in, activities. Food, activities. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a house tour as well. One of these days, yeah. once we've unboxed everything, our things are still in the boxes. Right. And we'll do a costing, siguro, if you're interested in yeah. knowing how to, uh, if you want to move here. And yeah, you know, we pray, can share pray, that. About, pray about this. I mean, lots of people are moving to the province. Discovering that they don't have to stay in the city, Since doesn't have to be Barakai. My opportunities mm. no one to work from home. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Okay, so guys, thanks a lot for listening. Enjoy life. And we pray that you'll be blessed by this and inspired by this vlog. God bless you all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.